cowboy boots, a Stetson hat, and a strategically placed guitar. You're not having much luck this morning, are you? <laughs> well, the naked cowboy has become an iconic symbol in uh, New York's Times Square and has created a brand that is now recognisable worldwide. Always sure to draw a crowd and no doubt one of the most brilliantly simple marketing concepts in history. The Naked Cowboy has left his patch in Times Square to come to Ireland for the first time. And Robert Burke joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Hello, how are you? First of all, tell us, how did, where did this all come from? How did this all start? Um, well, again, uh, I basically started into what would be called outcome development. I read a book called uh, Unlimited Power. By Anthony Robbins and I basically then became this extremely energetic crazy kid with no direction in my life to a crazy energetic person with a direction in my life. Uh, I set out to be the most celebrated entertainer of all time and that's what I am. I'm the naked cowboy keeping it real for all of you. I'm the naked cowboy you gotta do what you gotta do. Simple it it is um, a, a brilliantly simple marketing plot. I'm, I'm interested, though, that it was sparked by, by Anthony Robbins, who has, um, I don't know whether you know this or not, but that book was ghostwritten. He didn't actually write it himself. Oh, no. Well, it, I mean, I've read since then yeah. every book on the planet for, you know, psychology, sociology, all that kind of stuff. You, and you I've seen everything he's got in that book yeah. written in other places where he, you know. Where he lifted it from. Oh, yeah. sure. Um, you, you, um, you come from a, a, an interesting background, right? You're, um, you come from Cincinnati, which is a, it's a German town, steel town. Uh, your father's a, a genealogist, is he? Genealogist, yeah. And uh, you're uh, a political science graduate. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, so you're well educated. You've you've had uh, the benefits of the best that America can um, can offer you. So, could you not have been successful in another field? Well, again, the, the whole point is that if you have the you know this the point of this, it's like I want to be the, I'm going to be the most successful man in the entire world in a pair of underwear. You know, this is ridiculous. Think what I could do in a suit. I mean, it's, it, the point is, if you can make this successful, how can you not make that successful? Mm. You know what I mean? So it was basically taking, playing the role of the world's biggest failure out on the street, barely, you know, I mean, and being so successful by applying the principles of success. Because if you have the principles of success, you will be successful. I don't care where you are. I don't care what your position is. If you do the right things, if you're the right man, you will rise to the right place. It's so that you're, taking, you're taking the dollar and you're taking the mick. In, in the I'm best taking ten percent of everybody's <laughs> everything. <laughs> Just going licensing to, royalties. It is brilliant. You went to New York and you you wanted to be a model and then you started busking, um, but you weren't making that much money. And then someone suggested take your clothes off. And next minute, essentially, yeah. Again, I had I had set out from the beginning physically to be the best built, most inspiring man in the world. Socially, to be a brother and a server to every atom in the universe. Financially, to be the greatest philanthropist of all time, to giving away more money than anyone else ever made. A spiritually walking hand in hand, serving God all the days of my life. Again, this is all straight out of my Naked Cowboy dialogue. The things I read every single day, all my goals, all that kind of stuff. So I had that outcome to be the most celebrated entertainer of all time. I was pursuing modeling, acting, and country singing, and all that. So it was. I was shooting for Playgirl magazine in Venice Beach, a modeling lead that might throw me into something else. And I was playing on the beach in my clothes as a cowboy just to get some attention, just playing clothes. The photographer, when I made no money, suggested playing in my underwear. So it was literally the marshalling of all the things I put together. You know, it should have been a no-brainer, right? I mean, just take out the clothes, yeah. you know, put it all together. And yeah. when I did that, again, it was like, Zero to hero, you know, one day. No one paid attention to me the first day. Next day, I'm taking pictures. I'm on the news. And from that day on, it's like 12 years later. I actually went around the United States from Cincinnati, my hometown, the Key West to California, back for two years, driving like 10 hours a day, getting $45,000 in the credit card debt before I got to New York City, thinking a major corporate sponsor would just all the attention. From my point of view, I was famous. But once I got home, it was over each time, you know. So when I ended up going to New York City, and a lady tried to put a dollar in my boot, that turned into like $600 a day within two days and like a thousand, you know, like 300 bucks an hour. Now I park where Bloomberg parks for free as a sponsor, one of my, you know, sponsors. Now I have corporate deals all over the world. But again, it took 10 years yeah. of nonstop effort before that actually turned around. And again, I'm here now with Irish Entrepreneur Magazine. And they're having, you know, their whole campaign is you can do anything. Yeah. And again, that was my whole point, to be the archetype, the thing that every man, woman, and child could never forget once they saw it. You know, you're walking down the street, and I'm in your face, I'm, you know, it's like, like that. You're never gonna forget it. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then so every man, woman, and child would look up and say, you know, that guy went the distance. That guy yeah. was in the snow every day. That guy never missed a day of work. That guy, you know what I mean? That you just have this new status or new so expectation for the human potential. Which is more important to you, the money or the, or the, the fame, the recognition? Well, I don't think they're, I think they're inseparable. Again, value. Oh, no, that's If you not create this. value. There's a lot of really, really wealthy people who you and I will never know anything about. They're the ones who actually really control things, by the way. <laughs> We'll see. We're just the, we're just the performing we'll monkeys see. out front. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett are going down. That's the old standard of wealth. That's the old paradigm. That's the old triangle. I'm starting right here and going this way. You've so far made eight million dollars. Uh, I'm of infinite worth, and there's no way to put a price tag on what I'm doing. I go into I go into Times Square as a just a complete energy and enthusiasm, and literally I keep that city alive. And I and again I've been here four days and we've been on the cover of everything in this city you know, I'll do the same thing I'll take over town after town as long as I live how long can you keep doing this Robert a thousand years easy <laughs> I mean you're doing it in the snow how did you do it in the snow I got a job to do I'm not worried about it you know freezing I was just watching you on YouTube out there and there's snow on the ground I've done just... like three blizzards the best I've done was like 33 minutes in a blizzard that's walking out of the Times Square garage with the wind you know blowing and the news crews waiting because again that's just, you know, that's my preeminence. When, when it's like that, every news agency calls me because they want to get the blizzard mm -hmm. shot with yeah. the guy in his underwear in Times Square. What I accomplish in media in 10 minutes on a freezing day, it would take 10 hours on a summer day. Because the impact, quality, quantity, it's just that simple. Well, I mean, being a naked cowboy, say, in San Diego wouldn't really work. But being a naked cowboy in, uh, in New York in I January, was arrested in San Diego, does. so you're right. Yeah. Um, You've been arrested like 40 times? 49, but actually the 49th one had nothing to do with naked cowboy. What about, is there any room in, in, your, in your plan for world domination in, in terms of personal happiness? I mean, is there a... Is there a I'm the happiest guy in the world. I'm, in fact, at my mantra all day long is, cowboy? I'm the happiest, healthiest, wealthiest, most beautiful man in the world. I'm the happiest, healthiest. Whenever you see me anytime, that's what's going on in my head. Because you get, you become what you're thinking about. As you think, so shall you be. As a man thinketh in his heart, so shall he become. See, on earth as in heaven, as on the manifest, the unmanifest. Every doctrine says the same thing. People spend their entire life, you know, in this time of recession, what well, they do? They study the paper and they get recessed. Their head's in a recession. My head's on where I'm going. I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm living in complete isolation of the world. And yet, in that isolation, I go into the world completely happy and free. And everyone around me, like a virus, an epidemic, it's dwarfing everybody. Well, you do put a smile on people's face, which, let's face it, is no bad thing to do in your day. Robert Burke, the Naked Cowboy. Did you enjoy that? I did, did you? Yeah. Was he naked I know all the ladies out there waking up this morning did. We're going to have to leave it at that. Do you want to say goodbye to Ireland? Well, tell me why y'all standing there looking at me Like you never seen a man half naked strumming wild and free Well, if you don't stop looking at me I'm going to bend your butt over my knee You're going to bitch, scream, holler and swear as you get your butt kicked by a man in his underwear.